Hi guys, I'm Dirty Dungeon, and welcome to Battle Brothers. We're going to be playing some of this today. Hopefully it's going to be fun. We'll see how it goes. So, let's start a new game. And we got to pick... A flag in a name. We're gonna do a random late game crisis. I think we'll be the Red Guard, possibly. What's a good banner for that? Ooh, I like the Griffin with the little, um, little branches. I think we'll go with that. Uh, we'll leave permanent destruction on, and we're new to the game, so we'll keep beginner high starting funds and stuff like that. But, of course, we're going to go through the regular intro. It all went wrong. Two days ago, the company was hired to track down Hoggart the Weasel and his band of raiders. But it was them who found you first. An ambush. Some joke about horses cut short by an arrow to the throat. Arrows shooting in from every where and nowhere. Men holler and scream. A great volume before death. As the hail subsides, you draw your weapon with the rest of the men only to collapse to your knees an arrow has punctured your side you shout in pain a harried glance sees the men charge without you to make a valiant last stand met in force as steel clashes with steel you meet eyes with the captain a last nod before his throat is cut you're left in command now of what few men remain. Trembling in pain, you lean on your sword and with all the will that you can muster, slowly rise again to arms. There's Captain Bernard there, and he's about to get his throat cut apparently. There it goes. And now we must avenge him. Hopefully without taking any injuries. As Hoggart the Weasel flees. Let's cut off his head. Ooh, killed him. Good show. Try and kill this guy. Move up one. There we go. And that'll give us a clear shot. Then we'll go in with the axe for the decapitation. And Robert got two kills. We got two weapons. You're alive, you won. The adrenaline fades and in its wake. You can't help but sink back to the ground. Gritting your teeth, you snap the arrow's shaft. Your chest heaves pain for breath everything blurs the company has been devastated cut down to but a few men and that bastard Hoggart did justice to his name fleeing like the weasel he is what now captain a voice says from behind it it's robert who sits down beside you bedding his bloodied axe on his legs you turn to him to reply, but before you can answer, he continues, Bernard's dead. They slit his throat. He was a good man and a damn good leader, but it was all. All it took was one mistake. That makes you in charge now, don't it? Guntram joins the two of you, still breathing heavily. Then Caspar. 
Save the ceremony and anointments for another day. Let's give the men a good burial and return to Ichendorf to collect our pay. The weasel's men are slain after all. Besides, Captain, we ought to see to that wound before we lose you too. Wouldn't want to leave Guntram in charge, right? So, it looks like we're going to Ichendorf. I'm gonna walk that way. With Robert, Guntram, and Kaspar, I believe. Yeah. Guntram. Guntram? I don't know. Yeah. Either way. We're gonna go turn in our quest. What a sorry display it must be for the onlookers as you arrive in Ichendorf. Four bloodied and beaten mercenaries down on their luck. The man who hired the company days ago, Winrich of Ichendorf, no doubt expected you to return in more glorious fashion. Still, he welcomes the sight. He welcomes you to his house and offers bread and wine while a servant fetches a healer. A few words are exchanged except for the occasional grunt and wheeze as an elderly man with shaky hands tends to your wounds. A pin pierces your skin, the first of many stitches to come. You grit your teeth till you think you hear one break. Winrich of Ichendorf sits beside you and asks if you took care of Hoggart. You shake your head. We killed his men, but the weasel eluded our blades in the end. The healer waves around a glowing fire poke, suggesting he wants to push it into your wound. You nod and he does so. For a moment, that's all there is. You're not a man, but a pinch of fire, flesh from flame, a golem of pain. Winrich of Ifendorf, Ichendorf, hands you a goblet of wine. You did well, Selsword. The brigands have been removed, though it was a shame that Hoggart still lives. We expect to be paid for this. Winrich of Ethan Ichendorf gas. Well, naturally, 400 crowns is agreed upon. He gestures toward a servant who rushes to your side, pay in hand. I wonder, may I make use of your services one more time? I'd very much like to end the headache that is Hoggart once and for all. And I would pay you again, of course, another 400 crowns, shall we say? Robert scoffs and turns to drink more wine, but Caspar stands to speak. Yes, the company is in ruin, but we will rebuild it. Without the Red God, Robert would drink the crowns away and end up begging on the streets. And Guntram by the gods, we all know he'd go chasing womenfolk until one stove his rotted head in. We need the Red God, it's all we have. What say you, Captain? Robert burps and raises a cup to you. Guntram playfully thumbs his nose and nods. Kill that bastard, Hoggart, or not. It's up to you, Captain. I think we have unfinished business with Hoggart. Winrich of Ichendorf claps his hands in satisfaction. Excellent. My little birds will need some time to find where Hoggart is hiding. His hide now. In the meantime, I suggest you see about stockpiling up on supplies so that you'll be good and ready to end this when the time comes. I shall see you in a few days at the latest. As you leave... Winrich of Ichendorf's house and stand on the outskirts of Ichendorf. Kaspar seeks a word with you. We need more men, Captain. I know I gave a big speech back there, but bravado won't do shite. We need more warm bodies in the ranks. 
figure we find three good men, buy them some decent weapons, and dress them in the best armor we can afford. The man pauses to glance around. I bet this Bodunk town's got a desperate peasant or two looking for a new life. Or we could travel to Brunwald in the west. Them city folks aren't always as hardy as these country bumpkins, but we're more likely to find men with fighting experience stopping to rest there. Okay. They have a Fletcher here. So this is going to have, like, good bolts and arrows. My ducks are having a fucking fit. <laughs> they are freaking out. Oh, well. Anyway, we do need to recruit some men. Hopefully there's going to be a hunter or a fletcher. Ooh, a poacher. Good skill with using a bow. An arrow to hunt down rabbits and the like. Ooh, here's, here's a hunter. We could just grab a hunter. And some really other cheap dudes. I think we're going to hire him. And uh, then we're going to go to the west. Over there. To Brunwald. To see if we can recruit some more uh, men. I think at least two more is what we need there. As Brunwald's skies appear on the horizon. Guntram seeks a word with you. Never been to Brunwald before, but I've been around ones that look a lot like it. Cities like these are great for selling goods as these prissy, pompous pricks love to have their goods delivered with so many merchants. You can find almost everything you need, too. Keep an eye out for bargains and don't get swindled by them cutthroat merchants. Robert sees fit to add his own opinion of what you should do. If there's a good tavern, I'd say that's where we should go first. Nothing helps a man down on his luck more than a good pint. God knows we earned it. Guntram shakes his head. You say that every time we stop in town. You say that even when you're already drunk. So... Some men. Caravan hand, huh? Another caravan hand. But a lot cheaper. This dude's uh, an adventurous noble. A deserter. So we're just going to hide this guy, because he's cheaper. And uh, it's caravan hand. And that'll be our men for now. This dude's a butcher. Okay. Then we'll see if we can grab any more equipment. Uh, they're probably gonna need some armor. I believe. These are expensive. Let's grab them. A shield. I believe our hunter already has equipment. So let's see. Yeah, he has a hunting bow and whatnot. Could give him that. I don't really want him fighting in the front at all, though. So there is that. The shield, helmet, axe. So the student will have all that. And this guy is the caravan hand. Maybe we want to give him, actually. Yeah, I think we're going to give the caravan hand all that stuff. You can have this. And I'd like to go buy him another weapon if I can afford it. Because that's not very good. Could just give him the dagger. See how that works out. 
hat. Oh, so he already has a little hat. And the hunter needs leveling up already. Wow. Give him another range. Let's give him more range defense. And I think we're going to go... Resolve. Give him a perk. What do we want? Hmm. I think we're going to go with this. Weaponsmith. I doubt we can afford anything here, really. Yeah, it's all too expensive. So he has a knife. It's not even a dagger. Might pick up a dagger here. Yeah. We'll give it to him. As a weapon. Mm, he'll just be running around with a dagger. Hopefully he'll be okay. No shield or anything even. He could easily die. And then we're going to head back to uh, Ichendorf to do our little quest to hunt for Hoggart and take vengeance to avenge Captain Bernard. Winrich of Ichendorf is pacing back and forth when you find him. The healer who damn near killed you with that fire poke is standing nearby. He's picking chunks of dried blood out of his fingernails. Winrich of Ichendorf claps his hands. Finally, you're here. I have good news. We got hold of one of Hoggart's former men. My good friend here had a nice little talk with the man, and now I know where Hoggart's licking his wounds. The healer clears his throat. <clears> throat> Spraying his fingers out like a maiden, looking to paint them. He speaks as though he's identifying a disease he is about to excise. The brigand known as Hoggart is hiding in a small hut on the hills northeast of here. Based upon my most civil discussion with one of his men, Hoggart knows the Red Guard is on his heels and will have gathered more men since the last time you met him. Nodding, Winrich of Ichendorf waves you off. Good luck, Sellsword. We'll return with his head. Didn't mean to go there. So there's, there's his camp. Right there. So we're going to go over there and kill Hoggart the Weasel. Hopefully with little to no casualties. I am a little worried about our student. I can't think of his name because we just got him. Uh, this guy with a dagger. Gunther. Not worried about Wilhelm. Damn, that's elevation right there. That's a lot of elevation. We're going to hope they're not high up or anything. Take a few. Ooh, they are high up. Okay. Interesting. We'll see how this goes. Let's move him one forward. Ooh, and I have. I believe that might be Hoggart shooting. Move him forward. Move him forward a little bit. Maybe a little more. Hmm. Can't move anymore. We have a, what I think would be a good shot. Let's see here. Yeah. This dude. Ooh, no. Not a great shot. Probably a better one now. He does have a shield. Yeah, it's a miss. Go up one. Can't hit them. What's this looking like? 21% chance. Just move him there. This is not going how I hoped.
took a swipe at us. Ooh, and he hit our archer, or, or crossbowman. So that's a little frightening. 51% chance, took it and a miss. Let's split his shield. Hopefully breaking it the next time we do it. Nope. No dice. Well, moving from the side there. So I can't reload. Could just pull out my knife and try and puncture. Oh, a miss. What a shame. So these are blocked, really. Ooh, and we hit him. That's a good hit. Let's try and go for another puncture. Nope. It's gonna be a miss. <gasps> oh no, he killed one of the companions. That's bad. And we still got his crossbow. It's not optimal, but... And that's a miss. Could have done a round swing there, actually. That would have been better. Got a good hit. Let's kill him. There we go. Got him. Let's try and split shield again. Broke his shield. He should be easier to kill. And a miss. Let's try and puncture him. God, that's that's bad. That's fuck, man. That's shitty. Hopefully that was just a wound. He might be dead. I didn't look to see. I am going to make a few mistakes along the way. It's not where I wanted him to move. How am I missing these shots? Just awful. Just give it a regular shot. Miss. Hit. There we go. Fuck. Took a wound. He's almost dead over here. I was hoping and praying that arrow doesn't hit our men. There we go, got him. Alright, now... Got him. Let's move back so he has a harder chance of sh Probably just got more in the range of him, actually. That's okay for now. Let's move as close as we can to the weasel. He's retreating again. Move him back rather than forward. Run them down. Gotta kill Hoggart. Can't let him escape. Or at least I really don't want him to. That's fine. Can't shoot him yet. He's fine there. Let's move him up. Come on. There we go. Okay, he shouldn't be able to move. Caught him. Let's give the aim shot. We're going to get a good hit. So unfortunately, we did take some losses here, but we're going to accomplish the mission. Chopping off his head. So they did both die. Gunthrim. Gunthrim. No, our companion. And Gunther died. I was kind of expecting Gunther to die, to be honest. Not Gunthrim, no. Hoggart lies dead in a pool of his own blood, skewered into a grotesque panic pose. He didn't weasel his way out of this one. You put a boot on his corpse and look at your men. For company, for all the men who've fallen, Wilhelm Trueshot spits on the dead man's face. Let's take this bastard's head and get it back to each and door. So, we're going to head back to Ichindor and finish our quest. The company returns to Ichindor as victors, their heads held much higher this time. The Red Guard are not the size that they once were, but they are still a force to be reckoned with, as Hoggart learned in his final moments. You carry his head in a sack that you empty in front of Winrich of Ichindor's feet. He jumps back. But the healer quickly picks up his head and stares at it and nods 
When rich of Ethan Eichendorf approaches the brigand's bloodied face and eyes it carefully. Yes, yes. That's his ugly mug, all right. Servants, pay this man his money. Coin in hand, you raise your voice to the men. As long as there is blood coursing through our veins, as long as we can hold a sword and shield... <coughs> I'm gonna lose my voice. There shall stand a company. All through the realm, people will be... People will know Red the Red God. The men cheer. Casper puts his hand on your shoulder. You did well, Captain. No matter where you lead us, the men will follow as brothers in battle. As brothers. So we're going to need to go find another quest here. We do need to recruit some other people now that we're two men shorter than we were. Hopefully some cheap labor. We'll hire the drunkard. And uh, this butcher. And the drunkard will be our crossbowman. I know that for sure. You can wear this funky hat. So we have a... Ooh, that's a good weapon. I think we'll keep, keep him with the axe, though, for now. Give him this. Take away the cleaver. Give him this. He's going to need some better armor. And we'll give Casper more HP... Some more attack and defense. And we'll give him the Colossus perk, which will increase his hit points by 25%. Also reduces the chances to sustain the debilitating injuries while being hit. Uh, we're going to give him the Nine Lives perk. Once per battle, upon receiving a killing blow, survive instead with a few hit points left. The next hit is likely to kill you for good, of course. I'm gonna give that to him. Give him more HP, more attack, and more resistance. To physical damage. Or not physical, but you, I mean it is physical. Just uh, melee damage. And I forgot to equip him with the crossbow, didn't I? Yeah. You. You. I didn't give him bolts. That's what I didn't do. You need crossbow bolts. We also have a little bow. Oh, this is a quit. This is arrows. I guess we lost the bolts. That sucks. We'll give him this then. Oh well. I want to go to this town and see if there's any quests for us over in Brunwald. Wait, that looks like a castle. I don't think there'll be any quests there for us. I'm gonna go to this town then. Frost. Frostfesty. We'll go to Frostfesty. Leaving each and dwarf behind us. Um, so it falls to you, the commander, to see that the company succeeds, not just on the battlefield, but also in fame and riches. And so you spend the evening pondering about a bigger plan for the Red Guard. In your tent, while the man talk and laugh around the fire, you're never going to become a legend simply by chasing brigands and doing small time contract contracts. What do you proclaim in the men? to the men that the company will set out to do. We're going to get the company to a dozen men first. I feel like that's kind of important to the overall goals. So we're going to this place. Oh, this is also a citadel. So I don't think we'll have any quests here either. Unless I'm wrong. For, it's not working. Okay. May have to save and exit, or just go to. We're going to a different town. We're gonna go to Tonder. Hopefully that'll work, or we'll have to save and exit really quickly, because this game does do that sometimes. Small groups of huts. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have to save and exit. This is glitching. No, I don't want to retire. Save and quit. We're just gonna go back, load. And there we go. There's a contract here. What is it? A bird is perched on 
Erlan the Younger's window. The man seated points at it. I wonder if that's how they got in, the brigands, I mean. I think they must have snuck through the window and then right back out. That's how they got away with my lockbox. The man slowly rises and stalks across the room. He crouches about, ready to pounce on the bird, but the creature scatters before the man can so much as flinch. Damn. He returns to his seat, wiping his hands, as if he'd worked up a sweat during his attempt attempted avian ambush. My task is simple, sell sword, bring back my property to me. Kill the brigands too, if you wouldn't mind. You need to be paid more. I hope it gave us ten more gold. Okay. We'll accept his contract. Now so this is thirty. What is his apron? Less. So he is a frontliner. So we're gonna give him this. And he can add this. There we go. Hopefully we can use that crossbow one of these days. West. Oh, there's the tracks. I believe that's their tracks. This is west. Southwest, yep, this is southwest. Here's the thieves. Um, there's more of them, but hopefully we'll get some good shots in with our hunter. And the terrain's more favorable to us, because we do like flatter terrain. Is this our hunter? Because he doesn't have a good shot on anybody. Oh, it's because it's nighttime. Shit. Okay. Oh, we got a hit. So that's good. Or I think this actually might be our hunter. No, this is not our hunter, and this guy is ass at this. Yeah, I should have given him a different weapon. He's almost useless in this fight. It's really bad for us. Getting some good hits off though, to begin with. Hopefully they just don't play smart. Is my hope. Move him up, give him a stab. It's a good hit. I'm a little worried here. Especially because these guys don't have replacement weapons. So he, he's just useless until we can kind of help him. He's bruised. Go for this dude. Ah, it's a miss. That's not good. We need some good hits here. Fuck. Okay. Yep. <laughs> this is, that's bad. Our hunter just immediately got killed. Uh, this may be a failure of a campaign. Once again. Jesus Christ. This is really bad for us. Yeah, these guys, why didn't I give them backup weapons? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna do a little makeshift thing here. Don't judge me, I'm sorry. But we are gonna see if we can fix this. Come on, start. We are just because it's so early in the game and I'm very new to it, I am breaking the rules here of Iron Man. So I believe we'll start right before- yeah, okay, so we still gotta do this fight. But one, we're gonna give them each weapon so that they don't have nothing. Um, this guy's just fucking useless either way, to be honest. Um, dagger, wind stick, yeah, he's really shitty. I don't even know, I don't even know if I should give him this. 
Give him just a dagger. Fuck it. I'll put this in. Right, I guess we'll start him off with this, actually. Everyone else should be fine. Oh, I forgot he was injured. And it's just mine. Okay, so it's just a pierced cheek. He's fine. He's also missing some hit points, though. But Oh, well. Oh, we don't start off by the thieves. He is not healed, though. I think we're just going to wait around for him to heal. Then move in. Oh, shit, shit, shit. They started running. They ain't waiting around no more. Okay, yeah, he healed his light wounds. So now he just has a cheek injury. So things should be good from here on in. He's got a better chance now for some reason. Oh, because it's not nighttime. Let's give this shot. Nope. And we're close. This dude's gonna be great. Boom. Right in right between the eyes. It's fortify our men there. Move him up. Give it a quick swing. That's gonna wound him. Give him up. Give him up one more. Eh, we'll fortify for now. Play it safe. Shield wall it up. This dude's too surrounded over here. I don't like that. A little too much for my liking. And we'll take an aim shot. This guy. And it's an obvious miss. Give a regular shot at this dude. And take another one. And we killed him. Good show. For now, he'll do that. And he got knocked back, damn. I was not expecting that. Okay. If he does a round swing, yeah, he'll hit our men. I don't want to do that. Him or him? They're both wounded. Let's alleviate the pressure over here for this guy. Eh, he blocked it. Damn. guys are going to engage together. I'm going to give him a stab. Slightly damaging him in the shield wall. I think these guys should be okay over here for now. This guy's just so bad at it. <laughs> so bad at everything. I mean, he hit a shield. That's something. No good shots. Shoot at him. Ooh. Took a lot of hits there. Not much in return. God, we cannot hit this guy. And he lost his shield over there, so that's dangerous. I don't like how this is going over here for them. Split his shield. And shield wall. He can't do anything. That's really bad. This guy's in danger. I do not want to lose him. Let's give to him two stabs. He's also in danger now because he doesn't have a shield. Just get two shots. Ooh, we hit him. Go up here. Give it a shot. Ooh, and we crippled him at least. Forty-four percent. I like it. Oh, too bad. I hope this kills him. 
There we go. So he's still in... Yep, okay. I hope that didn't kill him and it was just a wound, but if we did... Shit happens, I suppose. He's getting ready to retreat, possibly. Okay. Let's give him an aim shot. Hit his shield. Another aim shot. Hit his shield. Ooh, killed him. That was good. Gave us a little love tap over there. Ooh, and we killed him. So this guy should probably retreat, I think. But we hit him before he could, so that's good. Oh, come on. Kill him. Kill him dead. Oh my god, he hit him. That surprised me. Okay. Ooh, he took a shot against our guy there. Not risking hitting our friends. Just wait. Wait. Stab. Stab. Axe. There we go. Yeah, no. Bertel died. That's a well. Got our falchion back. So. Always seem to lose people. But it is early. And men will always die. Valar Margulis, as they say. In Game of Thrones. Valar Margulis. So let's go to Tonder. And get our reward. We are going to switch this guy out for some stuff. First off, we're going to give him this. Keep him with that shield for now. And we'll give him the 95 of them. Got a new woodcutter's axe, I guess. Already have one. But uh, the drunkard will also have this. And a leather cap. So he's more defended. This guy's gonna level up. More HP. Could get more fatigue. I think we'll give him just more attack, more melee resistance. Don't know if that's the smartest move. We'll give him Colossus. So he has more HP and harder to wound. So our hunter's doing good. Give him a little hat. Or we could give this guy a hat. Oh, it's just damage right now. So he'll repair that soon. Hopefully quickly. 55. This will get better if he repairs it. Then we'll just switch around equipment here. Boop. There we go. Alright, let's go back to Tonder. And we'll recruit another guy soon. Because I like keeping six... Um, but I don't think we can afford more than that right now, especially with our lack of money. So, that wasn't a very great job, but we got 250 coins. Is there any beggars or anything? We have a cultist. A flagellant. A poacher. Let's go for the flagellant. Retire him. Give him a shield. Some arms. Not a lot of good weapon choices. Uh, I'm surprised I don't have anything better than this. Let's give him a dagger. See how a shield and a dagger does. Let's go find a new quest in Homsgard. Homsgard. Guard. Either way. Let's move up. Still just a watchtower. 
Oh, is this another fucking fortress? It is. God, why are there so many of these fortresses? I don't think I can get quests there, is the thing. We're low on food. Or low on everything, but, you know, we're gonna run out of food one of these days. So I don't think I can get a quest here either, so I'm gonna have to go far away. Nope, they're locked. Okay, we'll leave. Fine. Not much this way either, huh? Is that another one? No, I think that's. I think I can get a quest here. Hopefully, I can. Otherwise, we're really limited on where we can get quests in this part of the realm. Have to go like down south, super far. Taking the roads. Hopefully, we don't get ambushed by anything. Because we do not have any wounds, actually. These guys are probably all upset. Their friends keep dying. Yeah. They're like he died in battle. So no, we can't get a quest here either. It's kind of crazy. Sell some of this. <laughs> Excuse me. Nothing here we can super afford. I don't know if men or equipment are more valuable. Like having more men or just more equipment? Because men die quite frequently. What is what is that? Did, uh, three direwolves. Could we take three? We could help. Let's engage them with the other dudes. <laughs> what is happening? Why can't I move? Oh, because they're, they're attacking up there. Okay. Guess we'll just go forward. Hopefully we can help with these direwolves. I don't know what this does, if this gives us, like, some relation with them or something. These guys have better equipment than us. I can already see it. Yeah, he's got fucking throwing axes. But we'll help kill the dire wolves. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. It sounded like... I feel like the dire wolves aren't going to kill any of them. So I feel like all we should do is help. Yeah, they're not going to kill any of them. Look at their equipment. They're not going to kill a single one of them. They have a fucking dog. Oh, dog. They'll be like, we didn't need your help. It's okay, I wanted to see what was going on. Oh, this guy needs a shield. Okay, I gotta make sure to do that. Lucky we're not in a quest or anything. You didn't notice that. Cool. Yeah, so they're just gonna fucking kill these dinosaurs. I don't even think I'm gonna get XP for this. Maybe I will. I don't think so though, because I yeah I didn't kill a single one. Yeah, so no XP for anyone. No loot. Oh, we tried. So we're not even gonna talk to them, huh? Can we, can we talk to them? Nope. Can't talk to them. So we're gonna keep going this way. Please tell me this is, this is not a fortress. This is a town. We're gonna go through the mountains, like, dangerous-like. So I think we're gonna stick over here for a long time. Well, the company takes a short rest. You sit to examine the wound through the arrow that punctured your side not too long ago. It's been healing slowly and still aches. If you move too quickly, but th things are getting better. Casper joins you, seizing the opportunity to talk to his captain. So the way I see it, nobody knows about the Red Guard yet. We don't want to hunt ragtag bands of brigands through the woods forever. But we'll have to make a name for ourselves first as reliable swords for hire. That can get things done before the noble houses take notice. They'll want to use the company for far better paying task, I'm sure. He just his weapon belt and continues. Just we keep just we keep in mind that the high lords are paying playing a dangerous game and don't want to get on their bad side. There's enough stories of people who cross them only to end up quartered and fed to the pigs. They have the means to squish even a company of sellswords. He pauses a short moment and adds another thought. 
the guild masters and councilmen running the villages and towns to have good memory. We depend on them to hire the company for now, but having some influential friends may also help us get better deals with the merchants. So if the eldermen's or whatnot of the towns like us, we can have better deals with the merchants. So like these dudes. These dudes like us. Things will be better. But we're not going back up there to where the towns we've already got relations with. Fuck. Brigands. Oh, I forgot to do the shield thing. God damn it. Oh well. Hopefully we'll kill him. Kill him dead. Just means we have one less shield. He's got a glaive, it looks like. Get a good arrow shot and a miss. That's not nice. These brigands look slightly well equipped. At least to an extent. But definitely like having that shield right now. Let's just do this shield wall. Spear wall. He's coming kind of close. But wait. He will shield wall and move. To oh, apparently he'll get a hit. I'm scared again. Because he's only here with a dagger and has probably shitty defense. Move him here morale and because of that, but this guy's probably going to die. Torvald. I don't know what else to do for him. Just knock back. Fuck. That didn't work. Let's do it. Oh, good hit. Okay, so they've paying less attention. Ooh, okay, that's not good. That's bad for us. Let's split shield this guy. Eh, it didn't work. Just mount up for defense. There. Forward one. Give it a good thrust and a hit with our spear. Give this guy a good hit. But he's got like chain mail. That's pretty fucking crazy. God, it hit a shield. That sucks. Couldn't I do split shield with him? I think I could. Oh my god, he's so fu- What the fuck, yo? Oh, this is so shitty. This game is frustrating as hell. Because we're gonna die again, so we're probably gonna have to do that thing where I exited. Because there's not much I can do. I don't know what I can do here. Like we're missing everything, including them having great armor. Oh boy! We just fucking straight up killed him. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, we're gonna have to have to reload. I should have just not kept Iron Man on at this point. It's a shame. I don't know how you'd play it in Harder Expert. This game would be grueling. Let's load the red guard. So first, let's give this fucker a shield. Because I forgot about that somehow. Uh, this has 10. This is going to be better for now. Just so we don't break it. And I guess we still have to fight these brigands. Some different terrain. Let's just fucking hold up here. Kill him. Oh, I didn't even hit it. That guy was supposed to be great. We paid so much gold for him. He 
is lackluster of our expectations. Let's give it a good shield wall there. This guy can't do shield wall with his spear even. Give him a good hit. Instead. Split man, split shield, yeah. How did that miss? Another miss, Jesus. Really need to hit here, guys. It's sort of important. Come on, puncture him. There we go. Wounded him. He's already fucking trying to flee? What? You pussy. Give him another good hit. And another good hit. Because that spear's pretty accurate. Even though it doesn't, does the, doesn't do the best damage. It's accurate. Good little arrow shot there. Kill him with our Fashion. Start just running this guy. I want to hit. I can probably kill him pretty easy. We're more worried about the damage this guy can do, and we got a good solid hit off on him, too, so that's great for us. Is this guy will hit now. Start for this guy. Which shield wall thing. I'm worried about him. Try to kill our archer there. Let's puncture. There we go. Got a stab. Hopefully, killing him this time. There we go. That's good for us. And this battle has gone significantly better. Shield wall. Get a good arrow shot. And hopefully killing him. Nope. Not gonna cut it. Give him a hit. Shield wall. Ooh. Oh shit. He took a wound. So this should get us some good equipment though. Killing these guys. Move him up here. Hit this dude. Oh, it's a miss. How disappointing. I didn't know there was two guys down here. Give him a stab. Can't only probably hit this guy. There we go. Probably should have backed him up. Ooh. I think they're gonna start routing here. If they can. He's almost dead. He tried to escape, but he's been fucking demolished in every time he did. And then he's gonna die. Shit. Well, did lose a man. Not the most important one. Still annoying. Hopefully he's just fucking wounded. Good arrow shot. And avenge him. There we go. Yeah, he just got pierced side. What did he get? Partially collapsed lung, so he's minus 40 fatigue the rest of his life. We didn't get any armor, but we did get these pikes, which is pretty interesting. So it's pretty good. I don't know if we're going to switch out for anyone's weapons. Maybe the dude with the buckler. The spearman. Maybe give him Pike. Can he? Is this just two handed? Yeah. I think we will do that. Because we're not super desperate for Shieldman. He's got pretty decent armor, right? Yeah, decent. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, we're going to need to heal up, but we did level up. Let's do Bullseye, probably. Yeah, let's do Bullseye. Makes the most sense for this guy. Give him a little more archer, a little more defense against that. And let's give him a few more resolve, fatigue, or initiative. Let's do f fatigue. There's 101 fatigue. Give this guy some more HP. 
Some more resistance to melee. Probably some more damage. Wait, do, we, do we want Colossus for him? I think we're going to go Colossus. This guy level up as well. Get more of that. More resistance. More HP. And his perk he will choose to have. Could give him gifted. I don't know how valuable that is. Ooh. I don't know. Let's do this. You're gonna be a fast spearman running around the battlefield. I think we're gonna give this guy Colossus as well. So now he has Colossus and that. Oops, didn't mean to change Robert's name. He's gotta stay Robert. Give him all that. Okay, and he just needs to heal his light wound and he's gonna have a collapsed lung forever, so his fatigue sucks. But that's that's how that works. That's a shame. He also has no armor. We're gonna give him this instead. And now we need to recruit maybe another man or who knows, but we do need to camp for like a day. Running low on supplies. Yes, we gotta give that the day to heal. So we're just gonna encamp. Right here, next to town in safety. Hopeful safety. Give him militia. So they do have two contracts here. Wait till morning. So you're gonna need to grab some food there. Where did we go off to? Are we healed? He's not healed yet. He has one day. He also has a pierced side. I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah, he's just got shit fatigue. There's his light wounds. How much fatigue does he have? Where is that? Where is fatigue? How does this... Yeah. So his fatigue is absolutely... He's got like 30 fatigue. We got militia and farmers. Sell swords. Peddler. Militia. Yeah. Okay. Refugee. Hmm. Not sure what I want to do here. Could just stick with our the size of our company now. See if we can get some better stuff. I don't think we're ever going to need two pikemen for now, so we're going to sell that. Sell this woodman's axe. Buy a new shield. Oh, we needed food, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, is there only bread? We'll take bread if we have to. Ooh, this grain. Or is the bread's cheaper? No, it's more expensive. Take the grain. Need some tools. Oh, we don't have enough money for that. It's broken. Keep that for now. Sell these knives. Sell this. This buckler. This butcher's knife. Need some ammo eventually too. So whose armor is absolutely destroyed? No one's. Okay, we're all good. Any shields? Nope. Okay, we're looking okay. Not sure we needed that shield, though. Contract? As you settle into the room, Torkoal of Fry... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Finishes a goblet of wine, of cobra wine, <laughs> and heaves the cup out a window. You hear the din of it clattering hollow far, far away. He turns to you. 
While walking the roads, the brigands swarmed my wagon and made off with my goods. They left me with my life, which is fine, but the gall of what they did keeps me up at night. I see their sneering faces, hear their laughter. I believe it was a message to go after me because I refused to pay their tolls. But now I am ready to pay a toll to you, Sussword. If you go and slaughter these vagabonds, I'll pay you a tidy toll. Let's talk money. I need to be paid more. Yeah, take it. Accept this contract. We're just gonna hire one more dude. Probably the refugee. Yeah. So I think refugees have better fatigue, is just about all they have. Give him a spear. So he's very vulnerable, but I don't really care about his life too much. Now we need to go take down these brigands. Hopefully. So he's still got fatigue issues, but either way, he's going to have shitty fatigue. I don't know if we should wait for that. Because time is money, as they say. Oh. Nope. Not healed yet. One to three days, huh? Some brigand thugs. can probably take them. I'm not too worried about that. Seems like an easy quest. Yeah, we can do this. No problemo. 62. Let's go for the 62. What a dud. Sit here. We'll just be here sitting pretty and let them come to us. What's up, little ducks? They're very active today. Spear wall, shield. Just waiting around. Can't impale anyone just yet. So he rolled high. He also did. Well, I probably should just had them wait rather than move him back one. Give it a shot. Good hit. So, they've approached us. All looking to come up here for some reason. But we're fine with that. Taking a hit. that and give a swipe to this guy. Oh, miss. It's a shame. Go all the way up to meet him. Ooh, he punctured us. Oh, I forgot that guy had no armor. Ooh, fucking impaled him. What a great shot. Move him up. I'm worried about him. He's in trouble. Move him over there to help. So you need to change weapons to your cleaver. Give him a good decapitate. Miss. Damn. So that's dangerous for him. Ooh. And they had another one up top I didn't see. Yeah, his weapon's not too great though, so we should be fine. Move him there. Help out. Do that. Give him a stab. And this guy will probably swipe with this one. Ooh, a good head chopping. And a miss. So I think with that, this guy's gonna live down here. Because he is most certainly dead. Impale him! There we go. Good hit. Solid hit. This guy's not even going to be here in time to help his comrades. That round swing's dangerous. Let's go for the kill. And they might rout. Who knows? So let's get our bow and arrow ready just in case they do. 
and a miss. Oop. Well, he's not going to be able to route now. Because he's in our range. Oh, goody. So they're probably going to try and attack us then. Just move forward. No real point to move him, but... Oh, well. Surround him. If we can. See if we can get a good hit off on him. Man, that is a deadly spear. I like that. Should have probably split shielded him. 45%, and it's a miss. Let's split shield him. There we go. So we can take deadly hits off on him. Doesn't matter. Nah, I can't move anywhere near him. Get ready for our next attack if we have to. 41% chance. Miss. There's nowhere really to go there. Ooh, we got a hit off. What a shame. Let's split shield him. Not good enough. No. And he'll just do a swipe. Ooh, and a hit. Took most of his armor or shield. I couldn't tell. But a good hit regardless. Just let him go. Impale, and he's dead. So that was a good battle. Very good battle. No losses. Took minimal damage on everyone except for this guy who has a pierced hand, so that'll heal in a couple days. Casper. I like Casper. He's got that fucking speary thing. Whatever it's called. It's crazy. Let's continue. And we'll head back to town and receive our reward. For our murderous deeds. <sighs> Gain 300 crowns, no longer ambush trade routes. You know, I don't take kindly to your sort, but you did a good job, mercenary. Torlith reported to me. Before you even got here, all those brigands had been. Sl oh, Tora, okay. It was some mighty fine work by the way he describes it. And well, he heaves a satchel onto the desk. Here's some mighty fine pay, as promised. So we got pay. That's good, so we can probably buy some supplies now. Sell some of their weapons. Ooh, a reinforced one as well. Sell this one. Let's move our inventory into a neat stack here to see what we have. Could sell a dagger. Let's sell a dagger. Uh, buy some tools, ammunition. And that's going to drain our income there that we just gained. But there's another quest here too. As you enter Torlif, the wise's room, he and one of his servants are nailing a box shut. Good seeing you, self-sword. One moment, please. No, idiot, hold the nail that way. I know I hit your thumb before, but I won't, won't do it again. The servant re reluctantly holds a nail while the man hammers it home. Finished, he wipes the sweat off his brow and looks to you. I need this here crate delivered to... Hers back. It's all okay. Yeah, I'll go deliver it. Ask for more pay. There you go. So how far away is this? Let's see. All the way over there. So let's just start moving. Um, I'm gonna watch out for bandits and whatnot, but hopefully we just go unmolested. Has a pierced hand, so he's gonna be really shitty at uh, most things. Hopefully, he'll heal on the way. And he has fatigue, but we do have some level ups to do actually that we didn't do before. We'll do health and pierce resistance. What perks can he have? Any of these? First off, let's 
let's do let's do the student so he'll level up quicker. This guy should wear this. Or is it broken? No, it's not broken. He's tiny. Did not know that. This is our Axeman. Just more of the same. Kind of just getting all our dudes in good shape. do this fast adaptation trying to build them as well as I can what is that the tilted stones brigands could take ooh, four of them let's take them they're all raiders so a little more deadly better equipment but there's not many of them so we can probably kill them pretty easily and only one of them has a shield they do have decent armor, but I'm not afraid of that. Good shot with an arrow. Let's just fortify up here. Why not? Let's go, boys. Get ready for a fight. Move him up here, actually. Behind the shields. You can just stay there for now. Shield wall. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that to him. But he'll be fine. Just wasted a little bit of movement. There we go. Just wait. I should have hit the wait button. Damn it. Mistakes were made. Give me another good hit. Miss. He's put up his shield wall. Give him a good hit. And a good stab. And a miss. Or not a miss, but it hit home on his shield and nothing else. Let's stay all clutch here. All together, men. Hold the line. As only one of their men hold well enough. Ooh, shit. That's a hard hit. I don't like that. Okay. Damn. Holy fuck. Okay, that's bad. He took a lot of wounds. What? It just... Okay, I think that was our shitty guy. Yeah, it was. Okay. We need to kill these guys fast. That's a good hit. That's a good way to start. Impale him. He's not dead yet. It's a shame. Guess we'll go for him down there. Hit the wrong guy, but it's still good. He has very little fatigue. No dice with that guy. He's in trouble. Who's breaking? I don't know who's breaking. Let's try and split a shield. How to do it? Didn't work. I'm afraid. He's going to take some damage. He'll take a hit. Ooh, got him. Okay, that's good. We need to split his shield open. There we go. He's open to attacks now. I'm really scared we're going to lose our woodsman over here. Hopefully we don't. Okay, I think he's the optimal shot. Nope, oh, hit our own guy. Oh, lordy. Can't hit him. God. Miss. Oh, thank God, no. Oh, so close to death. So dangerous. Damn. That was a good hit. So everyone suffered wounds. We want to get this guy down before he has a chance make an action there we go it's a good solid kill and a good hit we're moving him back we need to protect him for a moment move him 
up. Give it a swing and a miss. Ooh, ooh, okay. Now he's in danger. Okay, he's dead. One more hit and we're good. We're home free. Not gonna risk it yet. Oh God, come on, just kill him. There we go. And Erwin died. I don't remember who Erwin was. Nah, he only took part in one battle, so I don't care about him. We got a flail and a morning star. So these guys give good equipment. Ammunition, all this stuff is good. And lots of gold. That was a good fight. Hopefully we don't get ambushed by any more people. Uh, it's kind of dangerous. There's no time limit, I don't think, on these quests. So we could rest by a town for a little bit. So let's go Colossus. Everyone took a wound. Yeah, we're in pretty bad shape. Keep him with the spear for now. But these are pretty good weapons. That we have found off the corpses of our enemies. I did not mean to hit that. Cancel. Little duckins are drinking some water. So. What did he get? Yeah. So these are all just temporary wounds. Where are they going? It's a battle site. Really hope we don't get ambushed going through these woods. It'd be deadly. Can we get anything here? Is there a temple? There's a barber. Yeah, he just changes hair and stuff. Marketplace. Anything interesting? Antidote. Quiver of arrows. Nothing super great. Could hire another man. Cripple. And a rat catchers. Huh. Let's hire the rat catcher. Why not? Why not? Seems like a decent investment. He can net people for us. Let's buy him some armor. Some cheap armor. Cheap. And there we go. So he's all set up. He's got a net. Let's put a shield in his inventory. Do we want to give him the morning star or the flail? Is this a two-handed? No. I think we'll give him the flail for now, though. Okay, hopefully we get a nice, relaxing trip to Herzbatch. We can dream, at least, that we will. No, 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 not through the woods. We're going on the roads this time. I hope the roads are safe. I see tracks or something. Oh, it's just a trade caravan. There's some brigands. Let's try our best to avoid those guys. Considering we have already fought our fair share of brigands for the day. Get our package delivered and rest up. 500 crowns. Olaf the treasurer welcomes you and a few of his men hurry over to take the cargo. He claps you on the shoulder. I take it your journey went well. You spare him the details and inquire about your pay. Bye, sellsword through and through, Torhelm. Get this man what he deserves. One of Olaf the treasurer's bodyguards walks over and hands you a small chest of crowns. They have a Fletcher here. Could get a better bow. I don't know if it's worth it to do that, though, here. What do they have? This man. Poachers. Fletchers. Lumberjack. Could take a quest here, but I think we're going to rest up before that because our men are in dire straits. We're not doing too great. I'm going to grab uh, some more tools, I think, from the store. 
Ooh, those are actually pretty expensive here. I don't want to do that here, actually. So we're just going to encamp. And wait it out for a small while. Along the road, a man walks the road with a shovel bobbling over one shoulder and a sack of dirt swinging in the other hand. When he inquires what he is doing, he says he just buried his brother and he's on his way back to Siegberg. The sack holds some of the dirt where his kin was laid to rest. Respectable. The man looks wary as wary as a man who buried his sibling would understandably be. Perhaps sensing your pitiful gaze, he asks if maybe he can stay with your company for a time. Join us for the campfire tonight. You sit about a fire and much talk is made about this or what that but the traveler does speak with some words which reside with your mind long after he's gone the battle of many names who did not take part in that half the world was on the march then i swear it i stood there with infantry footmen to a lord to be precise protected him well until the orcs released their berserkers after that, everyone sought to protect themselves, a job which proved quite difficult. I used to lie about how I made it out. Now I don't. The truth is my lord had his face crushed by a chain, and his mouth flipped, fell atop me. Its poor heart struck dead in fright. The traveler pauses, staring into your campfire. He prods the edge of it with a stick. That's the last thing I remembered as far as... I remember as far as the fighting was concerned. I eventually woke to that rains coming up to my nose. Nearly drowned me in my dozing. I wiggled my way out from under the horse and crawled to God knows where. Orcs and men lay everywhere dead, dying, drowning. Lots of screaming. Couldn't tell who it or what it was coming from. I remember the mud. I remember it clutching at me. A maiden strong-armed like an ox saved me from it. She threw me on the cart, and the last thing I saw was the battlefield. And I'm sorry, I must stop. Thank you for having me for the night. Interesting. May we find peace on the road, traveler. What an interesting man. So we still need to heal up a little bit more. Then we'll see what this contract here is. How's our reputation doing? Unknown. And we have open relationships with the two towns. Each and dwarf and whatnot. Just keep resting. 770 crowns. From that well-paying job of just delivering a package. Seven men. Let's see who's healing now. So he still needs some time for his split nose. That's not really that bad. This guy needs some more time. Because he fractured, yeah, he's he's not going to do well in battle with that fractured elbow. Anything new here? Quality wood. Tools are still super expensive. A hooked blade. Huh? No, we, don't need we don't need that. Let's get rid of that. It's not worth anything. Um, we could sell our spear. I'm hesitant. Oh, we have two. Never mind. We're selling that. Did we lose our spearman? No, we have one. Right there. Could give him this. Might switch that out for that. But then again, I don't think... Yeah, no, this is knockout. It doesn't have the, uh... Thing. What is the difference between a hand axe and a hatchet? Oh, this this is better considerably, so we want to give him that rather than that. Let him have the hand axe. Yeah. And we'll continue to encamp. Now that we got that all sorted.
bum, bum, ba, bum. They camped and camped and camped. Fang and coin is sitting in this town. I suppose it's another mercenary band of sellswords. And everyone's healed, so we can take this quest finally. Let's see here. You sit alone, studying a map, and a stiff breeze tries to take you off with it. As you struggle to keep the sheet on the table, Wilhelm, true shot, one of your men approaches and slams a mug on the paper's corner. You look up to see he's a bit slack-jawed with a drink on his breath. He explains he shared stories with a local by the name of Volmore of Herzbach, who has a proposal for you. The maps and the land they detail aren't going anywhere, so you agree to meet with him and hear him out. Volmore of Herzbach looks at you with some of his books, pursuing what appears to be a good deal of numbers. I got a shipment of particular goods to Koppeldorf, and they're leaving soon. I need a bunch of sturdy swordsmen to help make sure they make it to safety. What does it pay? Let's see if I can get more. I got more. I'll escort the caravan. Why not? Wait, I needed food. I needed food! Oh god, where is this? Koppeldor. Hopefully you have enough food to make it to Koppeldor. They may actually feed us with the caravan. Where is Koppel? Oh, there it is. So we're in for the long haul here. Going along with his caravan. Just relax. Oop, brigands. They have horses, apparently. Not sure how that works. So we're gonna wait with him. See if anyone gets close enough to net. Let's give him a good shot, maybe. Oh, it's nighttime, that sucks. Couldn't attack during the day, could you? This should be a decent, easy fight. They have some raiders. But hey, uh, who doesn't have raiders? Give him a good thrust. Can't decide whether I should be up here. Yeah, let's go down here, actually. Stand behind him for now. Next turn, we're in a shield wall. Let's move him up. Move him up. Can't hit anyone yet. Hopefully, this goes well. I don't want to lose anyone. We could have retreated and let the caravan hands take the damage, but I don't think that's wise. Could try and net someone. Not him. Let's just net him and move forward square. So he won't be able to move for a turn or two. Caravan guards go first, caravan hand, and then us. Split shield this guy. Kill the shield. Oh boy. That was a good hit. He's already wanting to retreat. What? Oh, okay, that's not good for him. A little scared for a friend over here. Let's kill that thug. Easy kill. Shield wall there. Give him a good thrashing, maybe? Could lash him. What's the chance with lash? 27? Fortitude. Let's go with fortitude. Two hits. Jesus Christ. They're really fucking taking him out here. I don't have any good shots. God. No! And he can't move. He's so dead. That's gonna be really upsetting. I should go north with him. Hopefully we roll well on initiative. 
Oh boy, he's probably dead. Yep. Hope that wasn't a kill. That man's been with us for a while, I know that. I don't know his name, but I know he has been with us for quite some time. Who can I hit here? Why is it saying I can hit someone? I can't hit anyone. Move him forward. Give him a good thrashing. Give him a lash, maybe? No. No lashes. Little spear thrust. And we fortify. Miss. Shame. Easy hit. He's begun to rout. Give him that. And he is failing. And dying. Hopefully our caravan doesn't get attacked again. Because we may be screwed in that circumstance. Oh boy. Jesus, they're doing some hard damage to us. So I guess we'll change to our little cleaver. He is in danger because he's not very good. Hit him with a decapitate. Miss! Oh lord. That's bad. Probably should have stayed together. Yep. Should have stayed together. I think his best chance is just to run. Oh. Everyone's fucking dying. Frustrating. And we impaled him. Stabby stab. Just live. Run! No run! And he's dead. Nothing I could do about that. He was gonna die if I didn't move him. So, they have successfully reached our caravan. <laughs> Actually, move right there. Over here. We may fail this quest as well. We lost, like, all our men. We have three men less. We lost four guys! These guys are way too overpowered. This game is just ridiculous with stuff. I hope they just got perma wounded or something. Try and kill him from afar. It's a good hit. Decapitated that guy with his glaive. Hold out, friend. And just hold out. Everything's gonna be okay if you can hold out. Killed him. There we go. Well, we're gonna win the fight. We may have to rebuild the company again. But, I suppose, that's life. At least for us. Give him a stabby stab. And that'll be that. Ooh, so Robert, okay. Two of them lived. We lost Wilhelm, though. That's a deadly loss for us. And got a bunch of equipment, including some helmets. And with that, guys, the stream's gonna end for right now. This will be going up on YouTube, so if you're on YouTube, give it a like or subscribe. Thanks for watching. I've been Dirty Dungeon.